every five kilogram reduction in grip strength was associated with a 16% increase in mortality, meaning every five kilos or 10 pounds of reduced grip strength compared to someone who had more grip strength to that amount, there was a 16% chance of dying in the subsequent year from any and all cause. Um, another very interesting study looked at uh, people in their eighth decade of life, and they followed them for seven years. And so these people were divided into quartiles based on muscle mass and strength. Okay, so basically you have um, quartiles of strength, quartiles of muscle mass, in people who were in their eighth decade of life, and they are prospectively followed. Um, and what we're looking for basically is what's called the Kaplan-Meier survival curve. So if you pull up these curves here, Nick, you can see that there's uh, obviously because it's a Kaplan-Meier curve, it's cumulative. You can see a monotonic increase in mortality for all groups. But what you notice is the strongest groups and the groups with the most muscle mass always have the highest survival. Uh, again, the uh, mortality rates are pretty high in this figure, right? This is a seven-year follow-up in people that are starting late in life. So you you, you wouldn't expect to see this steep a mortality um, drop in, uh, in, you know, if they were doing this in people aged 50 to 59, two decades younger. But the reason I suspect that they chose to do this is because they wanted to actually see some separation. So uh, again, another very clear indication of at least a very strong association between muscle mass and muscle strength in terms of all-cause mortality.